Hey guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. I uh, hope you're all good today. I am brilliant. I'm super excited. I've got some new parts for my PC on the way. Uh, I've been looking at upgrading my PC probably for the past five years. Now making more videos on YouTube, it seems like the relevant thing to do because it's taking absolutely forever for me to render anything. It's just an absolute pain in the backside. Five minute video turns into 45 minutes rendering and then it's like two minutes to upload it. it it's ridiculous so I've ordered some new bits I've bit the bullet I've taken the investment so I hope you all like some of my videos and subscribe just help me get some money back please thank you so anyway today's video we're back in Inkscape and a gentleman called Peter Bullens I hope I'm pronouncing that right asked on my last video in the one of the laser engraving forums how do I put an outline on an image? So this is the image you've, is provided, it's his own image. And I've taken it off the forum and brought it into Inkscape. And I'm doing this kind of like the extreme way. Uh, it did offer to send me the SVG of the file to make it easier. But I said, no, we'll, we'll do it the hard way. Uh, we'll make a video just so you can see how to do it with virtually any image. It's not, a quick process it is fairly easy but it's time consuming because you've got to go in and you've got to edit nodes and once it's done it's done and it looks good so let's get in hopefully I'll find an easier solution in the future but this is the solution that I found yesterday when I got asked the question and as you know I'm fairly limited I'm learning as I go and I'm bringing you along with me so let's get into this uh, I'll show you what I had, this is the image that brought in, and what I did was I uh, just deleted the outline that I made. And this is the image that I made. As you can see, there's a couple of little bits down here and up here where I need to edit the nodes, but it was just a quick, how do I get this done? So let's go through. Uh, I'll delete this again because we don't need that. The first thing we need to do is we need to trace this image. This is actually an image looks like taken on a phone because you can see the, uh, the little colour grade down here from Inkscape, but that's fine, it works well. Um, we need to trace the image, trace the bitmap. So we go to path, trace bitmap, and here I like to have the live preview on, and you just, usually I go for one of these three top settings depending on what image I've got. So this is still set from what I used yesterday and uh, what I wanted was I wasn't bothered about the inside how that looked I just wanted a clear line around the outsides so you can invert the image to make this a bit easier for yourself as well and that looks pretty good I'm gonna in uninvert it again because we've got some white spots down here so let's take that back off and that looks okay to me. So there we go, press okay. And then we can take the background image and just move it over here. What we need to do now is we need to get rid of this black. To get rid of the black, we just go into the node editor, click on the image and we're just deleting all the ones around the outside and then it'll just pull that right back in. And with the node editor, you can click and drag, just make sure you don't catch any of the other ones. There we go. What we've got now is we've just got the background image there with the white outline. So what we need to do next is we need to just get the outline of this image all the way around and just we need to offset this and drag this out a little bit. So we're going to use the exact same tool that I used in the last one which is the, um, the linked offset tool. You can use dynamic but it's harder to judge the size of it with the dynamic it's, it's easy to have the image there and then delete it so I always try to use linked offset so you click on linked offset click on the node and you drag it out a bit so now we've dragged that off there we want to go to fill we don't want to fill on there we do want a stroke and we'll have it as a red stroke 
we drag this off to the side and everything disappears because of my PC. As you see everything's filled in in the center and we don't want that. We don't, we don't need this anymore. So we delete that. When I delete these nodes in here this line will disappear and that's what we're going to do next. We're going to come in we're going to break this apart, I'm just going to take this line at the outside and then we're just going to delete this. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to make this into an object because it's still a dynamic link as you can see the pops on there. So we go to path, uh, object path and this should yeah, close Inkscape on me. Okay, we're back where we were. So once you've chosen path, object to path, you'll create it to a normal object so you can get all your nodes on the inside. So then you can select the object, you can select path and break path. And then you'll see all the inside objects are separate. So just select the outside one, drag that off to the side a minute, and then we select all the inside ones, delete them, and there we have our outside path. Uh, this one turned out better than the other one. As, you, as you, if you remember, the other one had the little bits of pieces. So now what I can do is I can jump on my desktop. I can bring this back in. I can drag this over roughly to the right place. Uh, layer, layer to bottom. And there we go. That's a, a nice little outline for the object that you wanted to trace thanks for watching uh hit that like subscribe button at the bottom uh if it did help please leave a comment it means a lot to me that people do comment saying that it has helped them it makes me want to make more videos if you need help with something else again stick that in the comments i'll see what i can do for you and i'll see you in the next video